Joe Biden has been formally certified as the next president of the United States and has promised to govern for all Americans. The state of California has formally delivered its 55 electoral votes to Mr. Biden, and that has taken him decisively over the 270 vote threshold needed to secure the White House. Russia's President Putin has finally congratulated Mr. Biden on his victory, saying he hopes their two countries can set aside their differences. Our North America correspondent David Willis reports. For Joseph R. Biden of Delaware, a Democrat, eyes 55, nose zero. The moment Joe Biden formally became this country's president-elect, California's electors are awarding him the votes he needed to clear the 270 threshold in America's Electoral College. And having held off condemning Donald Trump's unprecedented attempts to overturn the election result, now was the time to hit back. The flame of democracy was lit in this nation a long time ago. And we now know nothing, not even a pandemic or an abuse of power, can extinguish that flame. Donald Trump had warned that certifying the votes would amount to a severely punishable crime in the light of what he claims was widespread voter fraud. But the claims are unsubstantiated and courts across the country have failed to support them. As has this man, the Attorney General Bill Barr. It's now been announced that Mr Barr will be stepping down. Bill, said the President in a tweet, will be leaving just before Christmas to spend the holidays with his family. All this on a bittersweet day as frontline healthcare workers became the first in the country to receive the coronavirus vaccine at a time when many here have misgivings about its safety. It's, it's no different than the majority of vaccines that you get on a yearly basis that we give to our children that we've been getting since the 60s. And at the end of the day, when we're worried about side effects, really the truth is, is that everything has side effects. This has been shown to be safe, it's, it's effective. And really, it's the best route for us to combat this horrible pandemic. The vaccine is likely to prove a shot in the arm for the beleaguered American economy. Hence, they were punching the air when the New York Stock Exchange opened for trading. But the most ambitious vaccination program in U.S. history couldn't come soon enough. As these crates were being unpacked, came the news that the country had passed another grim milestone, 300,000 deaths from the coronavirus. David Willis, BBC News, Los Angeles.